Do you like to work with your hands, learning by doing? No matter what your major is, do you hope at least part of your course load this semester will involve exploring, inventing, and building things? Or maybe you're intrigued by this kind of work, but you've never really been given the opportunity. How would it feel if in the span of one semester, you could witness the thing you thought up, this thing you created, go out into the world and contribute to the greater good, opening kids' eyes for science, science that speaks for itself. Does this sound a bit too cool for school? I'm Eric Herman, and I'm gonna be teaching a course this semester, Physics 4500, that's all about designing, constructing, and showcasing to a live audience unusual physics phenomena. This is something that's been important to me for a long time because I'm one of the founders of the Physics Bus, a traveling mobile platform that goes around chock full of physics exhibits. What I want to make sure everyone knows is that this course is about getting your hands dirty with physics. It's about putting things together, trying things out. It is about not being intimidated by the way physics has been presented previously. It's sort of about redefining what physics is and adding a lot more color to this physics rainbow. You know, a lot of this stuff that's like really fun for kids, it's really fun for adults too. And it's not just that it's, it's not just fun for like any adult, it's fun for even people, even people who like understand the physics behind it, you know? You're never too old to like have fun and get your hands dirty and really just dive into the hands-on experience. While many courses have a curriculum and you're learning certain concepts along a path. There's a road map, there's a script. This course is not scripted. It has a loose, a loose framework, but uh, within that framework, what it creates is the ability to go on your own journey through how something works. It's applicable in the sense of making something that's far away much, and bringing it much closer. There's still a lot to explore and there's still a lot left to be understood in terms of, I would say, the real world. Magnetic tree. Whoa, <laughs> it totally works. Like That's building awesome. physics exhibits and um, talking about them, introducing it to people with the intention of getting them like excited about physics instead of like, oh, you have to learn all these right. concepts is something that I found it's like really fun and interesting and also super creative. Probably what, what I what I already do miss most is, is being able to have you know have a lot of time every week to do hands-on work on a project. Uh, it's a nice break from my other classes which is a lot of thinking and, and just writing and doing problem sets and things like that and, and being able to sit down and apply my knowledge and and experiment and work on things is really nice. My name is Tia. I'm a sophomore in mechanical engineering and possibly minoring in physics. My name is Jared Gershowitz. I'm a junior in the College of Arts and Sciences. I'm a physics major. I'm Rebecca, currently a junior. Um, trying to study physics. My name's Aldo. Um, I am a second year a sophomore right now, physics and math major. Hi, I'm Abigail and I'm currently a senior in Cornell. Um, I study physics and I concentrate in information science. So I'm really interested in um, different physics phenomena and also making exhibits and projects that are beautiful and like aesthetic to look at, but also fun. There, there's also that um, aspect of how like it gets me to think about the physics behind things rather than just seeing physics on on the textbook. I never thought about using this 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 physics um, concept in this you know in this way. Like it 
explains the world around us that we don't usually think about. So, so while I am psyched to get physics students and engineers in this course, while that is fun because they uh, have never explored physics, many of them, in, in the way it's presented here, I love it when this course brings in students who have had no experience in physics at all, um, or have even had a bad experience in physics. I, I was like really drawn to like how excited he was about physics, teaching physics, getting other people excited about physics. Anyone from any major can take this class and still enjoy and have fun without knowing any prior knowledge of physics. STEM can be fun too, physics is also really interesting and it's easy and you can do it like yourself. I love the course. I, I think it's really, I'm really glad that I, you know, that I, that I took it. In Physics 4500, you'll be creating new exhibits for the physics bus. If you don't consider yourself a physics person, no worries. If you don't consider yourself an engineer, no worries. If you've never even put a screw into a board, no worries. Developing confidence in these areas is one of our goals. You'll be definitely learning some physics. Whether your exhibit involves circuits, motors, batteries, magnets, fans, pumps, you'll be getting feedback from physics itself. And you'll definitely have a ton of questions that you'll want answers to. And we'll definitely be reading about and discussing what makes a good exhibit and why they're important. There likely won't be a recipe for the thing you're cooking up. And that's part of the adventure. If you find it refreshing to work with your hands, then this is the course for you. If you love to pave your own path through uncharted territory, then this is the course for you. This kind of direct experience developing practical skills, this kind of active learning, this kind of community-engaged work is one of the best ways as a student to prepare yourself for what's ahead. If you're naturally curious about the physical world, and if you're motivated by having a project with a purpose, and you want to develop proficiency, real-world proficiency, with materials and people, then this is the course for you. Hope to see you there.